Apple AirTags. In a previous video, I covered how they work and why I think they are a brilliant solution as a bicycle tracker. In a nutshell, they're cheap, they're light, and due to the extensive reach of the Apple Find My network, there's a high chance if you lose something or have it misplaced for you with one of these on it, you're gonna know exactly where it is very, very quickly. My own testing, I placed one of these in a public park and I was getting updates on its location every eight minutes or so as people were walking, running, or driving by. Over the last four weeks, I've done a lot more testing. I've tracked cars, I've tracked more bicycles, and I've tracked the local postal service. All with very, very impressive results. If only DHL, UPS, or FedEx had that level of tracking here, that would be brilliant. As the video title implies, today is all about bicycle tracking with air tags. I've installed four air tags on this bike just here. I go about doing some field testing to check the range of detection, which is an important thing you need to take into account when installing air tags on your bike. And I answer a number of questions about how air tags work, especially the one with, will a thief be alerted if they steal your bike and have an iPhone? It doesn't quite work like that. There's a catch. So here's my bike, and here are the four locations I've installed air tags today. The first one is inside the stem, wrapped in bubble wrap to stop it rattling around. The second one, B2, is under the bottle cage on the down tube, and that's mounted using a 3D printed bottle cage bracket. There's a ton of these awesome 3D printing ideas over on thingiverse.com, which I'll link to below. A friend has printed a few of these and sent them over for me to test, so thanks to Andrew for those. The third air tag, which I've labeled B3, is installed inside the carbon frame, right near the bottom bracket. Now, this is a tricky one to get to. It was also installed with a 3D printed tag holder and secured in place with some string so it didn't rattle around for these tests. And the fourth air tag, B4, is installed under the saddle, right on top of the seat post where it sits in snug using a Wahoo RPM cadence sensor mount, which is a little rubber holder that was first pointed out to me by Dan's Trizone over on Twitter as being a really neat keyring holder solution for an AirTag. Now, range of detection is important. If the range is too small, your lost bike or lost item might never be found by anybody else with an iPhone or an iDevice. Ideally, you want the largest possible detection range for the best chance of somebody with an iPhone or an iDevice coming into that range and reporting the location of your AirTag and possibly your bike back to you via the Find My network. Okay, to check the distance that these air tags will be detected at, I'm out here in a big, large open field with my bike behind me. I have a camera over here that should be able to tell us how far I'm walking away from the bike. And what I'm going to do is detect tag number one through to four and see how far away I can walk from those before it goes out of range. I've got a fair idea which ones are going to work and which ones aren't. So I've loaded the Find My application here on the phone and all of the tags are with me, which is a good sign. Nothing was left at home. Four tags on this bike, starting off with tag number one, which is installed in the stem. Now from here, I'm standing next to the bike. I'll play sound. And air tag unreachable. So that's next to useless inside the stem there. I've got to get really close to that for that to even think about updating still no go at all so test number one for the air tag in the stem that's an absolute waste of time test number two with the air tag placed right here on the bottle cage holder air tag number two play sound it's playing sound no worries and I hit find nearby Okay, let's go for a walk and see how far away we can get. Okay, two meters on the right, it knows exactly which way I need to go. Four meters, five meters, six meters to my right, that's still correct, eight meters, nine meters, 10, 12 ahead, still looking good, 13, 14, 15, 16, not bad. Remembering this is how far my bike needs to be away from another iPhone to detect it and update its location if it has been stolen. Not bad, not bad. 20 meters, line of sight. Still going, still going. I'm probably out of shot by now. 25, 26, 27. Still ahead, still ahead. 30 meters, 31. 
I hope no one's gonna take my bike while we're recording the video. 35 meters, and we're just out of range at about 35 meters. If I walk around this way here, I might come back into shot if I'm out of shot on the camera over here. Let's have a look, searching for signal. No, it's, uh, all right, there we go, connected right here. Still doesn't quite know. Not bad at all, 19, 17 meters ahead, so it's got me directions, no worries at all. So for the bike to be that far away and detected, that's not too bad. That will also go through walls uh, if you're in an apartment at home. Okay, 11 meters ahead, 10 meters, nine. Away we go, now back to my right, back to my left. It's absolutely spot on. And here we go, we are back. Bang, we are right here and found. Okay, so B2, which was here on the bottle cage, absolutely brilliant spot to put it. Uh, okay. Test number three, inside the frame, in the bottom bracket. We'll see how we go. Tag number three, play sound. It's still there, I can hear it from here. Okay, good, good. Find nearby, 1.7 meters, 1.6, 1.4. Let's go for a walk again. On my left. It's right, it knows where. Behind, on my right, ahead. Okay, I'll go back this way so you can catch him on the camera. You can catch me on the camera over here. I'm expecting a football to come flying my way if I'm... No, no one's here. Uh, 20 meters, weak signal. Okay, so we're not quite getting what we had before. As expected, it's inside the carbon frame. Searching for signal. Still not that great. We got it to 20 and then... That was it. We are lost. Try moving to a different location. Okay, let's try. Connected weak signal 2.4. I'll try and move a little further back. See, so once it's connected, it's... Definitely not as good as what we saw in the bottle cage. Definitely not as good, but we know it's down here somewhere. Connected, signal is weak, and we are here. Still works, but not as good as what we'd hope it to be. And the next one, right up the top there, right near the metal post actually, I'm not sure how that's gonna work. Uh, test number four, right there jammed into the saddle, as we expect. There we go. Find nearby. Oh, we're here. Of course we're here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 10 meters, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 ahead. It's still green too. To my right. No, I lost out. 23 meters, 22, 21. Connected. I think I'll go back to B2. On my left. This is correct. And boom, we are here. Not too bad, not too bad. But those tests indicate that number two was where it's at. Let's try that one for one last time on tag number two. I think that is going to be our winner for today. I'm playing sound. Beepity beep. Find nearby. Of course, we are a meter away. Let's go for a run. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Still has the right direction there. On your right, 25, 27, 28, 30, <laughs> 33, 33 and it loses out. So about 30 meters with that one on there. Jog it in. 
connected signal weak I think we have a winner so down tube on the bottle cage seems to work just brilliantly the other parts aren't too bad back here this one again I wouldn't bother uh, that bottle cage solution though might be time to get a 3d printer I think the precision finding, as you saw in the video just there, with left and right and almost to the centimetre detection, was using the U1 chip, so the ultra-wideband chip in the newer iPhone. AirTags can use either that or Bluetooth to update their location. I did test this last night by switching off my Bluetooth, driving to a secluded car park in the dark, and checking the Find My network and the tag that I had with me, B4, had updated its location to where I was. Now covering the most asked question about AirTags as theft devices, and that is, won't a thief be alerted if they were to steal something and have an iPhone with them? This will only occur if the thief takes your AirTag back to their home location, by which time you're gonna have a good chance of knowing where your item is, and even if the thief was to take the battery out, you'll still get the last known location of where things are. So no, if a thief steals your bike with an iPhone, they won't be alerted right away. That doesn't happen. Next question, can a thief fake the location of an AirTag? Yes, absolutely they can with the right tools. I've even located one of my AirTags as a test case in the Grand Canyon. I'm nowhere near the Grand Canyon. But I would think if a thief is that technically savvy, they're not wasting their time stealing bikes. They're stealing your crypto wallet and cashing in that way. Another common comment that pops up about AirTags is that thieves will be looking for AirTags when they steal your bike. Well, good. If they find one and can't remove it, maybe it's a deterrent. Job done. And I really don't think thieves will have the time to give your bike a once over top to bottom looking for tags before they steal your bike. Usually it's a run in, grab your bike and go, by which time you can load up the Find My, chase after them in your car or, well, not on your bike because they're on it and get that huffy safely back home into your garage. Now, one of the anti-stalking features of an AirTag is that if it hasn't connected to its owner for three days, it will start chirping. But there's a few catches with that. It will only start chirping once it's moved. So if that wasn't to connect to its owner for three days, it won't do a thing until it's picked up and moved around. And even then, it only lets out a polite chirp. It doesn't let out the full detection tone like you hear when you're trying to find your keys. I think the three day grace period is long enough for the owner to detect where things are and maybe do something about it or just forget about it. I guess it really depends on the neighborhood that you've detected your stolen item in. Um, and finally today, every bicycle is different. So your mileage may vary depending on where you've installed an air tag on your bike and how you've installed it. If you have a 3D printer, get creative. If you don't have a 3D printer, you can still order those designs online for delivery. I'll put links in the description below. As always, thanks for watching this one. If you've enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up, hit subscribe to support this channel. To take that support a little further, hit that membership button. It really helps out. Thanks for watching.